Hey guys, so I decided it's a little late for um, February favorites. I don't know. I feel like I do it later and later each month and you guys probably hate me for it. If you don't hate me for it, I guess I could. If you guys leave a comment below, I'll do my February favorites for you guys. I was sick most of the month, so I don't know how many favorites I have, but it might be fun. Um, today, we're doing empties. Okay, so my first product is an oldie but a goodie. Um, Suave Professionals Keratin Infusion Color Care Dry Shampoo. I don't really notice any difference between the different kinds, like this is Color Care, or yeah, this is Color Care. They have um, a, rock, a Moroccan one. They all kind of smell the same, not the greatest smell, but they're like $2.99 and they work. Okay, so the second thing that I went through was the 3 Minute Miracle Strong. They've come out with like a few different kinds, like this is the strong one and then they have like smooth and blah blah blah. Um, I've been using just like this kind of 3 Minute Deep Conditioner since high school. It always seems to work. I've moved on to a conditioner by L'Oreal that I really like, but um, I'll let you guys know about that. But um, this month I went through a lot of conditioner just because I dyed my hair and I use conditioner to dilute the dye. So um, yeah, but if you're looking for a budget um, hair mask, definitely check this out. My next item looks disgusting. Um, I think it got like conditioner and everything on it. Mm. It also has a little bit of uh, purple hair dye on there for good measure. But um, it's the Trader Joe's Micellar Water Cleanser and Makeup Remover Towelettes. And you get 20 of them for $3.99. So mm, they're okay. They didn't like blow me away or anything. I They don't say anything about using for um, waterproof makeup. But what I like to do is just when I wake up in the morning, clean my face with a makeup wipe because that's just how I do, especially on school days when I'm being super lazy. So I like to have them, but I bought a different one this time because these weren't that great, so I won't be repurchasing. The next item is from Dollar Tree because I'm all about the deals. <laughs> it's um, a hair removal wax strips. You get um, three strips in here for a dollar, but I cut them in half. I use these to wax my mustache because I'm a girl that, it's not like I have like black hairs coming out of my face or anything, but I do have like hairs on my face. I think a lot of girls do. I think people just don't really care because they're like blonde. But yeah, so if you want a cheap way, these um, are basically a knockoff of the NADS. Um, and I find it best if you do it at night um, and then use an oil to remove the wax after you do it. But yeah, they're they're good. They're a dollar. I mean, can't go wrong with a dollar. My hair is coming out. Did, did I fix it? Okay, next product I'm obsessed with. I think I go through one of these every two months. There's always a little bit left at the bottom that I can never get out because I think it gets like thicker as you use it, but it's the Garnier Clean Plus Nourishing Cleansing Oil. Um, I have, I think I'm gonna do an updated skin routine just to show you guys how like I take off my makeup since I use waterproof makeup now, but um, it's great, I like it. And I, it doesn't make, break me out or anything. And it's a really inexpensive way to have a cleansing oil because usually like there's the matte cleansing oil, which I think is around $20. And then there's Asian ones that you have to buy online that are like 30. So if you're looking for a cleansing oil, definitely get the Garnier. Um, ignore the dry skin part. It doesn't matter if you have oily skin. It's actually, if you have oily skin, you want to use an oil on your skin because it's gonna make it less oily. Trust me. <laughs> Note to self, if I ever do another of these empty videos again, never put the oil product in with the rest of your stuff because everything's covered in oil. Mm. But um, okay, so this is the Super BB Cream. I already have another one of these. It's my literally like holy grail product. It says whitening and wrinkle improvement. It has not whitened my skin. Like my face is not different than my body. Um, but it's like, uh, this is their brightening one and I definitely think it's brightening. It moisturizes. Ugh. Also, I bought this in August and it literally lasted six months. Like I bought a replacement at three months because since it's in a pump and it's like a solid bottle, I couldn't tell if there was like more product left in the bottle or not. But shockingly, this lasted for six months. So it's $11.99 if you buy it on eBay. It's like 
up to $30 elsewhere, but if you get it on eBay, it's $11.99, six month worth of foundation. I'm trying a new foundation today, a L'Oreal one, and I'm not a fan, so I don't even know why I try anything else because this is my all time favorite. Next thing is exciting, kind of. This is um, the Pravana Chroma Silk in pink. If you want, so I dyed my hair pink, obviously. If you want to dye your hair pink, don't buy this. <laughs> like, um, it's actually, like, so if you've ever bought any of the other Pravana um, dyes before, they're very pigmented and you, like, I mean, you can dilute them with conditioner and you're still gonna get a really vibrant color. This is, I don't know if you can see, because my camera's trying to pick up my face. But um, it's a very pale pink to begin with, and I thought maybe I got like a fluke bottle, but I reordered it, and I tried using it again, and it still sucks. So, um, uh, yeah, <laughs> if you, I'll leave a link below with the hair dye that I used to do my hair pink, because this is actually way better. I don't recommend this, but I do recommend their other colors. Next, we have a mascara by Milani, Total Lash Cover with Three Zone Brush. This was like one of those mascaras that comes with the mascara and then it comes with the brush, like outside of the mascara. And the brush looked really cool because I think it was like hot pink and green and you know, whatever. But of course you're never gonna see that again. But it's really weird because it's like, br like plastic bristles and then um, hair bristles and then it has this really long outer edge it's not a good mascara like I mean it works okay but you can't get the inner eyelashes since it has that long thing on it eh, don't recommend it so I won't be buying this again uh, the next thing is a deodorant I actually stole this from my boyfriend it's an antiperspirant and deodorant by Old Spice and it's in the scent of Matterhorn um, if you sweat a lot like I do try men's deodorant because I think that they think that girls don't sweat and so you have to get like clinical, this is like clinical strength, but it's boy scented. But it smells like, I mean it goes okay, like the smell doesn't like linger or anything and it goes well with like my woodsy scents and stuff. So, I mean, I don't think I'm smelling like a boy. Um, my boyfriend hasn't been like, what are you doing? But anyways, this is gone. I really liked it. It says it smells like ice, wind, and freedom. I, yeah. Next up, I had to include this because literally, I think this is the first lip balm in my entire life that I went through the entire thing. It's just the Carmex original lip balm. It might be medicated. I get them in three packs. I always keep one in my purse, one in my school bag, and then I give one to my boyfriend that I can then steal from him. And I was just like, I can't believe, I've actually, I went through all three of them but I only kept one because that would be crazy to keep three lip balms to show you guys. But um, it's such a good lip balm. Like if your lips are chapped, it like the cooling, like medicatedness of it just makes it feel like you're gonna be okay. And it's water resistant and SPF of 15. So mm, favorite Carmex and it's like 99 cents. All right, last but not least, it's covered in face oil, but um, the Alme Intense Eye Color Powder Ombre. <laughs> Um, it's 404 Smoky Eye for Greens. So basically, Almay does these like three um, eyeshadow things for depending on what color of eye you have. I think they have like three different um, shades to choose from for um, green eyes, blue eyes, brown eyes, and hazel eyes. Um, I don't really, I mean, I don't think that it really like changes, like makes my eye pop out or anything, but I really loved. I really only bought it for the color that was right here and it was kind of like a almost like a brown but like a rose gold brown like a rosy goldy plummy brown it was perfect but you know but yeah if you haven't tried these Alme um, eye intense eye colors you should try them because they're good eyeshadows from the drugstore anyways that is all of my empties for the last few months Hopefully this helped you guys figure out some new products to buy. I will never ever put an oil product in a bag of empties again because I'm covered in oil. So I'm gonna go wash my hands, edit this video, and I'll see you guys later.